But now there is an intensifying focus on Huckabee's record as governor of Arkansas. CNN's Dana Bash is in Des Moines for us covering this story. The Arkansas governor's record is under fresh criticism from immigration. Governor Huckabee fought in favor of giving in-state tuition breaks to illegal aliens. To taxes. Others have suggested a surcharge on the income tax. That's acceptable. This 2003 speech to the Arkansas legislature is being used in two ads against Huckabee. Let me tell you some of the things that you're going to hear. One of the things is Huckabee was a tax and spender in Arkansas. Huckabee is trying to preempt those strikes. So what is his record? On taxes, he says he signed the first governor in 160 year history of my state to sign the first ever broad based tax cuts and sign 94 different tax cuts. That's true, but he also raised taxes 21 times, including 16% more in gas taxes and a 103% hike in cigarette taxes. In fact, he left office with an overall tax increase of $505 million. Huckabee says the money went to Arkansas schools and roads and tells CNN he has no regrets. On immigration, Huckabee backed college tuition breaks for children of illegal immigrants. He also fought legislation to require proof of citizenship for state services. Again, on both, no regrets. But Huckabee's biggest controversy as governor is the Wayne Dumont case, a convicted rapist sentenced to life in prison, a punishment Huckabee, among others, called too tough. Dumond was released on Huckabee's watch, but then raped another woman and killed her.